So in this video, we're going to be talking about catching ourselves in the act of telling a negative story about love or about ourself in love. Often we tell these stories to other people, but essentially whenever we tell these stories to other people, we're telling ourselves these stories. We're affirming that narrative over and over and over again. And we're relying on our 3D to confirm to us that things have changed, but actually it's got to be the other way around. So when you've watched this video, I want you to be able to reflect on your own narratives, your own ways of speaking to other people and yourself about love. And this is going to help you to be able to spot the narratives that are not helping you. So before I get into this video, I wanna let you know that I've got some spaces left on the Conscious Creators Masters Academy, my most special transformational and intensive program for anyone who wants to go on an intensive three month period of really deep diving and uprooting all the things that are holding you back from creating the life that you want. This program really shines a light, <laughs> that's a torch by the way, shines a light on the things that are holding you back by having regular conversations with me and with the group, you get that mirror held back to you to be able to ask you the right questions to help you to see what is actually holding you back and the stories that you've been living in for a really long time, past last week, past last year, and actually really going back to your childhood and beyond that. It's a really powerful program. I've loved every single time that I've held it. It's been going on for two years now and this cohort will be no different. It's going to be a really special three months. So if you've got any questions about that or you'd like to speak to me about it, you can book in a one-to-one -one call where you can ask me any questions about the program and we can talk about payment plans or whatever else you need to know. If you've got any questions on the other hand about the retreat and you'd like to speak to me and Mo together, tell us your story, tell us what's brought you to wanting to come onto this retreat. We'd love to hear from you and answer any of your questions because we are so excited about this retreat happening in Devon in October. We'd love to see you there. Right, so looking at the narratives. So the other day I met this really amazing, beautiful girl who was asking me about what I do and I was telling her I coach people about manifestation and about emotions and that's what I do. So she said, oh, please talk to me. I wanna to talk to you about relationships. So as we know, that's my thing. That's what I talk about. So she said to me that recently she'd, one of her best friends had got herself into a really amazing relationship and was saying things like, oh my God, it's this is the love of my life. I'm so happy. And she found herself being envious, which is not something that she expected because she's got a great bunch of friends and she really feels really good in her life right now. She's quite happy, but she found herself feeling like I want someone really fun who's like my best friend who I can go Go and do life with and she felt that envy which is actually a really good thing that envy just shows you a direction it shows you what you want it's you know your body telling you this is something that i desire jealousy equals desire which is a good thing because we're getting to know more about what we would like to experience in life so that's the first thing i told her and then she said to me I just don't know if that will happen for me. I just don't know if I will actually have that experience, that that's not for me. So there's our first red flag. The fact that she said, I just don't know if this is something that's possible to happen for me. There's a belief there, okay? And then the second thing she said was, because I need to really see it to believe it. And I've never seen it. All I've had is experience after experience where I haven't seen that this is possible for me. You know, the thing is with relationships is that really we only want one. <laughs> we only need one. So it's fine to have lots of experiences which are not the one that we're gonna land on, okay? That is that is part of the human experience. So there are two things. One is that she's got this idea that she needs to see it before she can believe it. And then the other idea is that she's just got this feeling, this narrative in her body, in her system, which actually, by the sounds of it, from talking to her, goes back way beyond, you know, her childhood and actually way beyond her mother's childhood. It goes back ancestrally. So she's got this whole long story that is almost very much, you know, not her fault. It's not her fault that she's got that story. It's been passed on and passed on and passed on. And now she has this opportunity to change that story, but she has to believe that it's possible before she sees it. 
And so what I want you to do is I want you to be able to look at what you're telling people over and over and over again, the stories that you're telling people about a relationship, a person, a situation, you in relationship. Really catch yourself going, oh, look what I just said. Look what I just told that person. It's just not going to happen for me. I just don't know why, you know, love just doesn't happen for me. Everybody else seems to have got it all together and I don't. All of these things that you say to people, you start to, on some level, your unconscious mind is hearing you. And so what you want to do is catch yourself in those moments and say, that's not what I want to believe anymore. I don't want to buy into that story. I heard myself, I heard myself say it and I don't want to believe that anymore. So I'm going to start saying something different. Like, love can happen for me. I can have that relationship that I want. I can affirm that now. I can believe that because it's a possibility and it's the possibility that I want to buy into, okay? So you've got to do that first before you start seeing it because our mind wants to be right. It will find what it believes to be right because we want to be right. The ego wants to be right. So it's going to look for, you know, what we're telling it. So start telling yourself a new story so the first thing that I want you to take away from this video is I want you to go away and just have the scanner on of what you're telling other people because before you know it, you've said something and you can really have your your um, antenna on. Is that what I said? You can have your scanner on looking for you saying these things that you can go, oh, there it was. There's me saying that negative thing that I don't want to believe anymore. So I'm changing it in this instant. No, sorry. I take that back. I'm going to actually say that I can. I take it back. I can have what I want. So ignore what I said, please. <laughs> you know, that you have to have these sorts of conversations with people and yourself, right? So notice what you're saying to people and change it in the moment when you hear yourself saying those things. And the second thing is, you might not have had the evidence yet, and that's fine. You know, you're going to have to have a blind faith, first of all, so that you can change the narrative from within, first of all. So know that, know that you've just got to change it from within. So these are the two things. Change it from within and start noticing what you're telling people and change the narrative because that's when you'll start to see that you start to look for the proof of the new narrative. That's what we do. That's what we do. So I hope you found this video useful. If, you, if you'd like any more information about what I do, if you'd like to come along to the Conscious Creators or anything else like the retreat, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.